didn't know Squidward had a lamp. My light. <laughs> Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis. Now, a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge. Bringing it around town. Too pretty. Can't take it. I love opening presents.
bringing it around town. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Gary? Meow? Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done? Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out.
better make good use of all these. Yeah! Messing with Texas. Ew. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
There's another one. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Please replace my antenna at the far end of these rooftops.
believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. <laughs> Meanwhile... Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I love opening presents. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Just met the Sponginator. Fresh like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge! Fresh like a spring breeze! Number one on the Bikini Bottom Scavenger Hunt, three years running. Uh, thank you.
another find for Patrick. I feel like a new sponge. You are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes, it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know. SpongeBob Butt Pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them I shall. You've got a deal. Wow! Everyone looks like antfish from up here. Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Whee! Wow! Everyone looks like ant fish from up here. Tartar sauce! The horror! Fresh like a spring breeze. Take that. Oh. 
The ultimate wedgie experience! Three hours later. Eventually... Fresh like a spring breeze! Somehow I don't think he needs a hand. Sometimes pushing a simple... Good work, boy! Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Opening presents. It shines! Ow! I feel like a new sponge! Like a spring breeze. Hey, you! Patrick needs to do laundry. Up for a game of SpongeBob?
hell if it isn't Sandy Cheeks? Howdy, Mrs. Puff. Around town. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was. Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been bleached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Great Barrier Reef. Now the robot's taking a beating out there! Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable! I wanna play! I wanna play! Epic, we're not playing! We're fighting for our lives! I wanna play! I wanna play! Oh, alright! The old clothesline move! The robot's losing its head! 
What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! Oh! Nice flying, uh, head thing move by Patrick! <laughs> Looks like Patrick has a big opportunity here! Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match! Fun. Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Uh... Whee! Spling! The old clothesline move! I feel like a new sponge! There's the robot's vulnerability! Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it! Oh, what an uppercut! Ouch! That's a bubble bash opportunity if ever I've seen one! Nice move Fresh, by SpongeBob! Like a this match is just about over! golden spatula and that's not all a gift certificate for five dollars and 32 cents to dean's little shop of dried fish flakes and flowers oh thank you it all means so much i i i promised myself i wouldn't cry cry all you want but not here we just wax the floors hey plankton yes what is it I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly. And as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. 